Here we have a different style of arch. From now on, we're going to talk about forwarding arches, or arches that stay hooked on behind a vehicle, pick up and carry the logs. The arch stays horizontal rather than the fetching arch, the Mark 7, and the Junior arch, which work with a toggling fashion. Here you hook on behind an ATV or a tractor or another vehicle with a trailer ball, and then you use the winch here to pick up the logs and carry it along. The ATV arch is a 24 inch and one ton capacity. It can grab large single logs or groups of smaller logs because it has a cable winch and a choker. It has a five foot reach. There's a five foot available reach inside this arch so you can pick up a 10 footer fully suspended or perhaps if it has a heavy end it might be 11 or 12 feet long, carry it along entirely off the ground. The logs stay clean if you're using a portable sawmill. You don't want to have dirt in the bark to dull your blades. And the, wherever the log has been dropped in the woods, you'll pick it up and carry it out of there with the ATV arch. The arch is light. You can pick it up, set it over the logs so you don't have to back up into any position. Or you can come driving into the woods, set the ATV into a little notch in the woods, throw the arch around, back up, and go out the way you came. So it's a very versatile arch. Okay, setting the choker, stuff it under the log, set the nub into the bell. Now we always start with the winch in high speed. As you start to pick up the log, you might have a little extra grunt. So I shift the winch into low speed, change direction on my handle, and it's quite easy to pick up the log. Log weight's off the ground. I'm carrying all the weight inside here. You can see a 10-foot log is fully suspended, a little bit of tail drag, or I can bind it up a little higher, throw a strap around the nose of the log to carry it without dangling, fully suspended in the arch. If you have heavier logs, there's the option to double your power. I'll show you that on the back of the arch. Let me drop this down. On larger, heavier logs, you'll simply ignore this red bell. Pull the line around, hook it into the bell that's right on the arch. And now as I winch up, you'll notice that the log will roll. Now, I left the winch in high speed there, but since I've doubled my power, I can pick that log up quite nicely. Hey, you notice how high and snug I brought this whole log. It's entirely suspended off the ground. And this is not a small log, it's not huge entirely, but look at the clearance underneath that log, a 10-foot fully suspended log. And you'll see, of course, it doesn't take hardly any power to drive away.